You just heard that I'm an actress and that has been my passion forever. There's another part of my life that is my passion and it is called Inner Fitness. Uh, my company is the Inner Fitness Project and I am an inner fitness trainer. And that is the inverse of physical fitness. We do all of this work physically, you know, on our bodies because we know how important physical fitness is to our health, right? The kind of stuff that goes on on the inside of us and that kind of fitness is as important as inner fitness, I mean as physical fitness. So, what I would love to do is to share with you some tips that you can walk away with today that will um, help you to be more fit inside out. Would that be okay? I need you to say yes if it's yes. Yes, fantastic, okay. So, there's a, a tiny little, a tiny little phrase that if you learn this phrase and you apply it to your life, it can make a huge difference. And the phrase is, up from this, up until now, and from this point forward. Now when it comes to physical fitness, we know that diet and exercise are the keys to physical fitness, right? When it comes to inner fitness, the keys are your ability to reset yourself no matter what has taken place in your life. So, in order for us to reset ourselves, we need to know that no matter what has taken place, no matter what challenge you are confronted with, no matter what family you grew up in, no matter what abuse or, or difficulty or loss you have encountered, no matter what, if you begin to see that event in your life as an up until now and from this point forward event, you will begin to um, dismantle its power in your life. So if you right this moment, take a second to think about something that has been a challenge for you forever. Think about something that happened to you in the past that left you feeling less than or not good enough. Think about something that you are challenged with that is your secret and that nobody knows that it's your secret. If you think about that thing, I'm going to share with you this up until now from this point forward exercise, okay? So, bring that thing to mind, whatever it is, and you say to yourself, up until now, this has been that way. But from this point forward, it doesn't have to be so. Now what happens when you actually do that, I'm gonna have you do that out loud with me, but what happens when we tell ourselves that up until now, something has been however it's been, it literally makes room in our brains for the next story, the new story, to move from here forward, no matter what it is. So no matter how your challenge has been, if you say up until now, it's been this way, but from this point forward, it can change. You have just done something incredible to change your life. So I'm gonna say up until now, or we're all are gonna say uh, at three, up until now, and then I'm gonna leave a little space so that you can say it in your mind or mouth it to yourself or whatever it is and then we're going to say, but from this point forward, it can change, okay? All right, so one, two, three. Up until now, say, up until now, up until now, add your little whatever it is that you want to change, and now we say one, two, three. From this point forward, it can change. You have just done something incredible for your life. Now I'm gonna do one other thing. I'm gonna tell you about intention. Studies have shown that the people who actually have a plan or set what's known as an intention for their lives have a better chance, a 70% better chance of actually achieving what they have set an intention to do. So you can, by setting an intention, literally move your life forward again no matter where it is right this moment so 
I know that every single person who can hear my voice is already a leader, is already capable of taking charge of your life. You are already a leader or a CEO of something. If you're not a CEO of a corporation, you're a CEO of a family. And if you're not a CEO of a family, you are the CEO of yourself. And how you begin to think about and respond to yourself makes all the difference to the kind of life that you can create going forward or from this point forward. You know, this life, I don't, I don't know if you've noticed it, but life doesn't come to our door and knock on the door and say, excuse me, is it okay for me to be life today? No, life doesn't do that. Life just comes crashing in. And when life comes crashing in, we have to deal with it. And we're not special. There's nobody who gets to escape the uh, vicissitudes or the, the, the troubles of life. That's just the way it is. But what we get to do is we get to meet life with the idea that up until now, we have been however we have been, and from this point forward, it can change. We get to meet life with the, with the idea that I can set an intention that no matter how it looks in my life right this moment, that it can look, and then you have to have a dream, that it can look better. I can get a job. I can change my circumstances. We have to have an intention in order to do that. Life is not going to, life is not treating you any better or worse than it's treating me. But what we have to do is to decide that we can stand up to it no matter how it shows up at our door. And that we are worthy. In fact, I have a definition for you that you can take home. Each and every single person, all of us, no matter who we are, we are at the core, we're not just mothers or wives or husbands or, or, or boyfriends. We're not um, students or, or born with a creativity that courses through us that means we can change anything. We can redesign, we can recreate, we can from, from the dust and the ashes build new stuff. I was just down at Chelsea and uh, I was told that that was, um, used to be the Red District. And as I looked at all of the beauty that Ch uh, Chelsea is now, I thought that's who each one of us is as an individual. That we can take the burdens and the, and, um, and the disrepair in our lives and make it whole. So you are creative. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Second thing you are, you are resilient. It is in your DNA to be resilient. Here's a little piece of, piece of brain science. When you feel nervous and upset and, and uh, incapable, what is actually happening is that the brain is gearing up to support you. Now we have interpreted that as meaning that we are out of control and uh, incapable. But the truth is, our, our physiology, our biology is actually saying, all right, get ready, you know, because we, we got something we got to do and we can do it. We got something that we got to do and we can do it. You are resilient no matter what happens in your life, just like when, that, when you get cut and your body automatically begins to repair itself. Each and every one of us, when, our, when life knocks on our door and we get slammed to the side, know that through your creativity and your inborn resilience, you will rise. And everything in you is built to help you manage through. If you begin to believe that more than you believe that you are, 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 are destined to uh, fail or doom or be lost forever, know that your resilience is always there to save you. And in order to choose how we respond to a situation, if you respond from the idea that you are resilient and creative 
then if, even in the worst circumstances, your response will be an empowered one. In the worst circumstances, you will figure out a way how in your own mind to see the situation in a way that empowers you. Even if you are in a situation like Nelson Mandela, who was incarcerated, but his mind was not incarcerated, and he found a way to use his power of mind and choose empowering thoughts. Mostly create a purpose for yourself and it will, it will carry you through. And last is you are whole. Nobody can take away from you the fact that you have this brain and it's yours. And so your wholeness means everything you need to create the life you want already was downloaded at birth. You just need to honor it. You need to look at it and say, yes, I am. I am capable, I am enough, and up until now, I may not have known it, but from this point forward, I use every single day of my life to invite in the idea that I am creative, resilient, empowered, whole and worthy, and the dreams that I dream have been given to me, they are my purpose, and I can fulfill it. I think everyone is magnificent, and that's just not words for me. So I say yes to you, and yes to us, and let's make a difference in the world. New York, you are amazing. I thank you so much for uh, being such a wonderful city, and let's all just have purpose and vision and creativity and resilience in our lives, okay? Be well.